It's that time of year again, basketball fans. The 2024 NBA season is here, with the opening game set to start on Tuesday, October 22nd. Now, I'll be the first to say navigating all of your options to watch the Sears NBA season is a little bit complicated to say the least. So in this video, I'll break down everything you need to know. So I'll start out with my breakdown of the season as a whole, and then move on to my streaming recommendations. Now, a good chunk of the games, including some of the biggest games of the season, like the opening games and the ones on Christmas Day will be broadcast nationally on one of four networks, TNT, ESPN, ABC, and NBA TV. Once we get to the postseason games, all of them will be on one of these four networks with the NBA Finals on ABC. Now to stream those games, you'll need a live TV streaming service that includes a live feed of those channels. But during the regular season, most of the games are actually not broadcast on those channels. So how do you watch those games? and what channels are they on? This is where it gets tricky. So if you live in the in-market areas, so for example, the suburbs outside of Chicago and you want to watch the Bulls games, then you'll need to watch them with a regional sports network. These are channels that broadcast sports for a specific city. Examples you'll find include NBC Sports and Altitude Sports. In the Chicago example, it's the channel called the Chicago Sports Network. Now, one important note about the regional sports networks is that one of the largest providers of the regional sports networks recently rebranded their channels from Bally Sports to the FanDuel Sports Network. So if you see FanDuel Sports, just know it's the same thing as Bally Sports. Now there are some cities where you can actually watch your regional sports networks for free with an antenna, but otherwise you'll need to get a live TV streaming service that includes those specific regional sports networks. And again, it varies by city. If you're unsure of what sports channels you'll need in your area, I recommend going onto the website for the NBA schedule and checking what channels it lists under local TV. Now I'll go ahead and include a full list of all of the NBA teams and their local sports channels. If you want to pause the video and take note of that, you can. I'll also include this list in the description of this video. Now if there's a team whose games you want to watch and you live outside of the end market areas, then you'll need to watch it with NBA League Pass, which is the NBA's streaming service. So for example, let's say you live in Seattle, but you want to watch the Bulls games. Since you can't watch the Chicago Sports Network in Seattle, you'll need to get NBA League Pass. You can get a League Pass subscription for either $16.99 a month or $109.99 for the season if you want access to all of the out-of-market teams. But let's say you only want to watch the Bulls, then you can get a Team Pass for $89.99 for the season. Take note that NBA League Pass does not include the national games on TNT, ESPN, and ABC, but it does include NBA TV. So what are your other streaming options? A streaming service that includes all four of the national networks, as well as the widest lineup of regional sports networks is going to be DirecTV Stream, but it's not the cheapest to say the least. You'll need to get what they call their choice plan if you want to get those regional sports networks. Make sure to plug in your zip code on their website to see what sports networks are included in your area. Fubo is slightly lower in price, and like DirecTV, it includes many of the regional sports networks, although it doesn't include TNT. Now, if you also get Max, which starts out at 10 bucks a month, that does include the games from TNT, and the price together with Fubo ends up being comparable to DirecTV Stream. YouTube TV is cheaper than both DirecTV Stream and Fubo, and while it includes all four of the national networks, it does not include regional sports networks. Meanwhile, Sling is the lowest cost streaming service I've mentioned so far, and includes both TNT and ESPN but they don't have regional sports networks, they only include ABC in certain cities, and NBA TV is only available as an add-on. And speaking of add-ons, all four of those streaming services that I mentioned, DirecTV Stream, Fubo, YouTube TV, and Sling, offer NBA League Pass as an add-on if you want to watch the out-of-market games together in the same app. And once again, I'll mention that Max includes live access to the games from TNT for just 10 bucks a month. But are there any other options to pay to watch just one specific team? The answer is yes, but it depends on your city. The teams that have their own streaming services include the Phoenix Suns, Utah Jazz, Portland Trailblazers, and the LA Clippers. Meanwhile, the various teams that have their games broadcast on regional sports networks like Bally Sports, Spectrum Sportsnet, Yes Network, and MSG Plus can all be watched on their own respective streaming services that tend to run for about 20 bucks a month. 
want. Just take note that these streaming services for the individual teams do not include the national games from ABC, ESPN, or TNT. So in short, to get access to as many NBA games as possible, you can subscribe to either Fubo or DirecTV Stream. To save a little bit of money, you can subscribe to YouTube TV and Sling to watch the national games, but you'll need to add on an additional service if you want to watch all of the games from your local team. And no matter where you live, if you want to watch all of the out-of-market games, you'll need NBA League Pass. So anyway, I know it's a lot to unpack. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I suspect I will get a lot of questions from this. So if you want to know about your city's team or about what regional sports networks you'll need, let me know in the comments and I will look it up for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked this video and found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date with all things streaming. And for all of the ways that you can watch this year's NFL football games, check out my video here.